Hello, Aku here again. Welcome to episode 14 of my Feed the Beast Ultimate Beginner's Guide. There's a, there's a pigman behind there. Um, Ultimate Feed the Beast Beginner's Guide. Uh, I've got no stuff in, much in my inventory after the last time when I lost all my stuff in a stupid fall into fire. Luckily, my ender chest saved most of my stuff. What I need to do first is make a new ender pouch. And for that, I need some leather. I've actually I lost my repair tool sword, which is quite upsetting. And... Um, and I lost my bow, which is also quite upsetting. That power four bow that I had, so uh, yeah, that's uh, not ideal, not ideal. So I need to make a new bow. Uh, I got my arrows back, hooray. Um, yeah, unfortunately I lost the bow and the sword. I remade my armor. Um, I did that by putting eight stacks of wood using the minium stone. See, I've used quite a lot of durability from the minium stone there. I took, actually, um, I think it was 16 stacks of wood I've used to make two stacks of iron and then I used all the iron to make all the bits like the, uh, well not the wiring, that's gold dust, uh, that's gold nuggets and redstone but to make all the stuff that I needed to get roughly back to where I was with the armour this is, oh, this is a new version of, of Ultimate, it's version 1.0.2 it's available on the launcher, if you click on where it says recommended you can pick version 1.0.2 which I think is the last version they're going to put out before the 1.5 version of Minecraft version of Ultimate if that makes sense. So there's quite a few mod updates in this. Uh, Greg Tech's updated for one and looking at the power armor I was I thought it might have been changed but the power armor is actually still the easy recipes not the Greg Tech version so I thought the Greg Tech is supposed to default to the Greg Tech version but apparently it doesn't so it's still the cheaper recipes so for this version, your power armor is still a valid way of armoring yourself. Now, I've done this a little bit different. I've got no armor plating in the legs and the feet, but my armor plating in my chest is set to full. Yeah, yeah I believe that's right. So, armor plating, yeah, iron plating in the chest is set to full, and then the helmet is set to four. Because I've got some weight in these guys, I've got. What, what weighs? Kinetic generator weighs four kilos, and I've got something that weighs two kilos. Oh, the the battery. I've got a battery in there, and that weighs two two kilos. So I'm a plate in is ten, eighteen, then twenty two, then twenty four. So I'm up to twenty four kilos. Twenty five kilos will start slowing you down. So I could go another kilo, but I'll just leave it like that. And you can see that. Moving around is keeping my suit regen. Uh, so I've got my shock absorbers in there so I can fall from any height. Sprint assist, jump assist, uphill step assist, and the kinetic, kinetic generator in there like it was before. Iron plating, glider, and parachute, and then iron plating. So I'm like the same as what I was before, but now the armor's all concentrated in the chest. If you look above my health bar there, I think I've got a little bit more armor than I had. So doing it this way is, seems to give me a better armor rating than what I had before. So, some of the things changed in Ultimate 1.0.2. One of them is Man Factory's a newer version. Uh, let me make a sword. Because I've got no weapon. To kill this guy trying to break my door down. Because he's going to keep making a noise if we do not. Thank you, thank you. Um, should we kill this pigman as well? Is, it, is he gone again? Oh, he's gone back in. Bye bye. Um, what was I saying? All right, Man Factory Reload is a newer version. Quite a lot of things are a, new, a newer version, to be honest. Uh, I don't know, don't know what the hell I'm typing that in there for. There's a thing called a bioreactor. That's going to be quite useful. Bioreactor, I believe it. It um, we can feed it the saplings from outside there and get biofuel, which we could use to run a liquid boiler. So I need to get on with that at some point. Hello, cat. Yeah. Um. But one of the next things I need to do is. We need to start getting some more XP. And for that we need to start working towards uh, Mob Grinder. And for that we need to start using these soul shards that I've just been sat in there. Because if I had a uh, XP Grinder then losing the sword and the bow wouldn't be that bad because I could just keep grinding XP up and um, using that to get to get better enchants on my weapon and stuff. So we need to kind of get on with that. Um, one of the easiest mob grinders to get is blaze spawners because they occur naturally in the uh, nether fortress 
and one of the things I want to get for that is potions, which is a vanilla item. So I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get a vanilla potion making device, a brewing stand. Um, also, we need to get on with actually using some of this lava. We've got that lava there, we're not using it yet. We need to create some kind of way of using that. So that's probably going to be a thermal generator, a geothermal. And then there's an upgraded version called a thermal. So we'll get on with that. But first of all, let's go make a brewing stand. Now, brewing stand, we actually, we've got the bits we need. So I've killed a blaze. So I'm not going to go near this blaze because I killed this the other day before the last episode. But remember I came down to this never fortress a couple of days ago. Well, um, you saw me make that waypoint, I believe. I came back down here, put a book down here. And I noticed there was blazes up here. And if we try and kill this without dying, see there, there's a blaze spawn it. So there's blazes all of it. Oh shit. Run away. So you see they do quite a lot of damage. So that's why I want some potions. I want some fire resist potions because that makes fighting blazes a lot easier. Now I've got no food. I've got no food. Let's go back. You can see my inventory is still pretty empty from yesterday. Uh, Food's in there. Oh, that's all my steak. Let's start getting some of this cooked up. Uh, carry on cooking the, the Zycraft box there, like I said I was going to do. Right, so one of the things we actually need is... I need my ender pouch back. I should do that first. I'm in the pouch. I'm just started getting a few cows breeding. Mm. I've got some wheat in my inventory. Come here, cows. Have a baby cow. Hopefully, that guy will give me... Some leather, of course he didn't. Uh, two leather, I need three, so I'm going to have to risk it and set that guy down as well. Excellent, three leather, I can make me ender pouch. So, I always like to have an ender pouch. So I saved quite some, it saved some useful stuff. Once I've got this back together, I need to, once I've got my gear back together, a decent weapon and stuff, I need to go back to that. Uh, hollow hill and start getting some more resources. I'm going to need some. Hmm, how do I do this again? It's something like that, isn't it? Ender chest, ender pouch. I need to get some more resources, so I uh, get some more diamond, make an omni wrench, stuff like that. Ender pouch, ender pouch. Oh, wool at the bottom, okay. Tried everywhere, but there we go, ender pouch. And is that set to the same as that still? Yep, yeah, so that's good. We've got our ender pouch back. We've got some steak there. I can always use all the apples we've got outside as well. And we've got some torches in there, I believe. We have got torches. Put that wheat there for now. I'll get some more cows in a bit. And I want a bow, even though it's just going to be a standard bow. And that's food shouldn't be in there. Three bits of string. I always get confused with it. Is it, do I bend the wood or do I bend the string? I bend the wood. Okay, so string straight. Actually makes more sense, doesn't it? So there we go, we've got a non-enchanted bow. Melons can go in there. No, oh, um my minion stone can go back in there. Don't know why I've got a chest on before. No idea. So I'm kinda of back to where I was, just not quite as good. So yeah, you killed a blazer, uh, I killed a blaze. Got me a blaze rod. We combine a blaze rod with some smooth stone. So we've got three of there, we need some more of that as well, so let's sling 64 cobble in there as well. Put some steak in my bag for later. And so there we go, mm, okay, no, there, there we don't go, I forgot to make everything. So we're making a brewing stand, it's normal cobble, not small stone. Fool, I thought it was small stone. Um, three cobble, gets us brewing stand very useful vanilla item that a lot of people don't bother using, I never bothered using one of these for ages and uh, they make quite a lot of difference, I don't mind telling you where can we put that, eh, we can just have it up there on top of our writing desk so in a brewing stand we can make potions so first of all we need glass bottles for that so let's make some glass bottles I believe we made some before but probably won't have enough um, I don't see any, ok I made two lots. There's six of them. And we need to fill them with water.
Yeah. Have I got any way I can store these over here? I don't think I have a way. No, I'll put three in there. So the first thing we need to do, there's quite a lot of potions. What we're looking at making is fire resist. Um, potion of fire resistance says is three minutes and then there's an eight minute version. Well, the eight minute version is you put redstone in with the three minute version. The three minute version, we need an awkward potion and magma cream. So an awkward potion, we need water bottles and nether wart. So we need stuff called nether wart. So that's the next thing we need to get. I don't know why I made six of them. There's not a stack. I should have put just made three. So next thing we need is nether wart. So if we go into our nether fortress, it's the only place you can get nether wart when you first start. But once you get it, you can grow it out in the overworld. I didn't actually eat any food, did I? There we go. So in this nether fortress, which is quite lucky, I had a little run around. And you've got to be careful in here because there's wither skeletons, and wither skeletons are quite nasty. And I believe, just down here, hello pigman, yep, just down here, it's the kind of thing you're looking for, in your never fortress, you're looking for some stairs with this bit underneath it, and it's got nether wart in it. So, I'm going to grab some nether wart, we're going to want to take this back, and we're going to want to plant some, so we can have a little nether wart patch growing. Like so, so you may want to take the soil sand as well, just so you've got something to grow it on it. Because never wart does grow in the overworld, but it'll only grow on soil sand, so you have to use soil sand as its planting medium. Um, so let's grab this. We can head back. Just up here. Get back to safety. There we go. And now you can see that brewing stand. Put one bit of our new nether wart in there. That's going to start brewing. That's going to turn all three of these into awkward potions. Just while that's going, I'm going to go plant some nether wart. Uh, I really haven't picked a really good spot for this let's play, to be honest. I'm kind of all blocked in. I think these, flux plant, uh, these flax plants aren't growing because they're too near to the trees as well. Another issue. I made myself loads of issues that I didn't need to make. Um, I should have picked a nice flat area like I normally do and build a little house, but I'll try something different and it turns out I sh probably shouldn't have tried something different at all. Get some soil sand down there. I'll probably end up moving pretty soon, to be honest. Make a purpose built um, factory somewhere, but the issue with that is. I have to transfer my lava, that's not a massive issue. Once you've got a boiler up and running, you maybe want to... There we go, so that's just that planted. Once you've got a boiler up and running to temperature, you maybe want to stay where you are, because that inefficient use of fuel means you, you waste a lot of fuel if you keep turning boilers on and off. So, there we go. We've got three awkward potions now. So now we need the next part, which is magma cream. Now, magma cream we're actually going to need blaze for a blaze rod so we need some blaze powder so i'll go back into here and risk it with my lack of fire resist my lack of armor try and take some of these blazes down see oh yeah skeleton doesn't help does it i didn't even notice that guy i thought it was a zombie pig man come here skeleton Thank you. Come here. There we go. We've got one of them. Is that two? Oh, well, cut out. We've got two spawners right next to each other. That's kind of awesome. Um, it's going to be dangerous, but it's kind of awesome. So we've got a couple of blaze rods. Excellent. Now, we want to pulverize one of these. So we get more blaze powder than we would if we didn't pulverize it. You see I needed to clear the gravel out of there because there must be something that it can uh, give us a bonus. It's going to... Oops, that was the wrong thing to do. There we go. Let's just put that in there. It's going to use some of that. That's okay. So we've got eight blaze powder and we need a slime which I've only got one of. Or a couple of. I've got six of. Okay. One slime ball, one blaze powder gets you the magma cream. 
magma cream goes into there, and now that will become these fire resist potions, three minutes, and then we need a redstone. Let's make them into eight minutes. So once that's done, we'll get that into redstone, and then we need soul shed. The rest there for now. And um, what am I grab there? I'll grab the glowstone, not a redstone. Fool. Yeah, they can go in there. Let's keep things tidy. Um, organic kind of stuff. Yeah, that's all good. So now redstone. So we've got fire resistance three minutes. Let the redstone go. And we can start making a, a little bit more organised in there. And I'm going to take some cobblestone with me. Because what cobblestone does is, it's a bit lighter than nether brick, so you can see things a bit easier. There's a couple of ways of getting a soul shard. There we go, eight minutes fire resist, very nice. We'll stick them in our, we'll stick a couple of them in our bag there, so we've got some spares. So now we can go back there and we should be able to get some XP. And start filling the soul shard up by fighting some flazes. Now, we can make a thing called a Corrupted Sword, which I'll show you how to do. Um, let's get rid of that skeleton first. Quite busy in here, isn't it? Ooh, don't want to fall off the edge. Okay, let's just drink this. Get on with it. I want to make sure that I get the blaze into the soul shard, not the skeleton. So, Let's kill a blaze before I kill a skeleton. There we go. Now I'm just going to put some lights around here just to. Right, you. Just to slow down the spawning just for a little bit while I sort things out. So you should see me lasting a lot better against these guys. So do fire damage. Oh, there's a wither skeleton. Be careful of that guy. So you see I'm withered. Like, you get off a wither. Need to get one of them into a soul shard as well at some point. Okay, this is a bit of a mess. Let's uh, run over here and recover from the withering that I took. Come on. The plan here is, is to open this up into one space, fill the gaps in, make it a little enclosed area. I really need to stop them spawning just for now. Is it, it's just not light enough in here. So a mob spawn in an 8x8 square with the spawner slightly offset. So you've got a 3x3 three three one side of the spawn and a 4x4 four four over there. There's a lot of fire happening here. Go on, just stop spawning for now, please. I really don't want to fall down that hole because I don't know what's down there. Well, listen, um, the light's not really doing a lot of difference here, is it? You can see with the fire resist, it's taking barely any damage. Come here, you. Oops. Come here. Right up. That'll do. Let's break some of these. Thank you. See my sword's not gonna last very long at all. Here comes another wither skeleton. That's the other reason why I want to block this off. I want to block it so there's two more wither skeletons there as well, look. I'll block this off put put a door in it. You see I've got 16 blazes killed. There's a thing we need to make called um a corrupted sword. And on that we can get a enchant that can only go on that sword. That's called um, soul stealer. 
with a soul steal of enchant, we get more kills per per kill. But the problem is, the corrupted swords don't last very long. Um, ideally, you want to do it with use books. So what is down there? Nothing really down there. Okay, let's just block that off. Ooh. There we go. Looks like they can spawn just outside there as well. Oh shit. <laughs> Bloody wither. Yeah, they had me off the edge. Let's just go regen a little bit. Make sure we're alright. So I'm getting some decent XP. Getting some blaze rods. Starting to slowly fill up a soul shard. The other thing you can do with soul shards is you can collect spawners. Um, I should actually get with a spawner, with a skeleton, into a shard. So I'm gonna go grab my another one of these shards. There we go. Put that in there. Let's go back there again. And give this guy a bit of a tickle. There we go, so now we've got a wither skeleton into a soul shard as well. Useful to have. Now these only take these will only gain um souls when you've got them on your bar. So you need to have them on your bar when you're fighting. Got three minutes fire resistance left, so I'm gonna use this full eight minutes. Oh I'm really low. Am I gonna die? I think I might be gonna die. Although my cap you can't really see how low you are when you're withered, it's terrible. Could have one heart, okay. Um, I'm going to wait here for a bit. Hmm, so, good source of XP, good source of blade rods, and we're working towards a soul shard, as I said. Let's just go back in here and regen. Eh, might as well sleep, or not. There's a spider nearby, is it down there? It is. Wait, you. What are you doing? Might as well sleep. Um, right. I'll show you the. What shall I show you? Nah. I was going to show you how to make the corrupted iron, but uh, well, I can show you how to make that. We haven't got much iron though. I've got three iron in there with your corrupted essence. And it'll become. Come on. Come on. I can't remember what it's going to become, so I'm having to wait. Three corrupted fragments. So three iron, you'll get nine corrupted fragments. Nine corrupted fragments, you put them together and that gives you one corrupted ingot. So I'm nearly regened. Let's go head back in there while well, we've still got some fire resist on us. I just want to show you this really quick. So there you go, nine corrupted fragments. That gets us a corrupted ingot. And you need two of them to make a sword. The usual pattern for making a sword. Uh, I'll put three of them into there as well. So we've used all our corrupted essence up, so I'll have to get some more of that on the go as well. So how long we've got? Just a minute left. Let's get a couple more kills. So these are the best things for XP grinders because um, you can't drop them because stuff can fly. You can drown them, but then it's quite hard to actually get in there for kills as well. So they're not the, exactly the best thing you can use, but they're a good thing to fill soul shards up when you start because they're good XP. They're, uh, and the blade rods are going to be very useful. We could just have started with um, 35 seconds. We could just have started with normal skeletons or something, which are a lot easier because you, you can just drop them to the death. Not backwards, not very nice. Okay, I think we might have to get out of here. So I think we'll have to leave them. Let's just... Uh Let's 
Some behind me. I can hear him. Yep. Okay, my fire resistance is gone, so I'm out of here for now. There we go. So, before we do anything else, I've not actually made a little base around that yet, but I plan to. I'll show you that in the next episode. I'll do that off camera. Just get rid of this organic stuff. With, those, with the skeletons drop coal, so that's also quite useful if you get a grinder with them in. If you've got an extra coal source, then you can use for fuel, or for making diamonds, or other things. And let's put our soul shine in there. That's full now. And so we've got another nine of these. Let's spread them out. And then to an ingot. And get our other one back. And get a stick. There you go, you've got a thing called a vile sword. And a vile sword is the only weapon that can set the soul stealer enchant. I, I don't think I explained what that does. So every level of soul stealer, it, you get the level into your soul shard. So if I kill a... Right, that, that didn't make sense. If I kill a blaze with this sword, I get one soul in there. If I kill a blaze with a soul stealer sword, soul stealer one, I'd get one kill plus one from the swords so i'll get two in there so you can make soul steel up to five so when you've got soul steel of five on a sword you're getting six kills for every thing you kill so it makes filling a soul shard a lot easier basically that's one that's the point i'm trying to make there i was doing a very bad job of trying to make it i think that's quite cool we've got some blaze rods right for the rest of this episode i am going to get as a way to start using this, this lava. Now, the easiest thing is to make EU generation, but hmm, we, we're doing our processing of buildcraft power. So, I'm going to have a little think about this, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I'm back. Uh, the next episode that I do, I'm going to look at some of the new Mine Factory Reloaded stuff that we get in this version, this 1.0.2 version, um, called a bioreactor and a biogenerator. Yeah, I'll show you them really quick. Bioreactor, pretty straightforward. Usual stuff. Uh, fermented spider eye we need to make using sugar and mushroom. We'll have to sort that out. Um, what that does, that'll let us start using them saplings outside to turn to biofuel. And then we'll try it out with the biofuel generator that goes with that. And that'll start generating some MJs using our saplings. I want to see how good that is. So we're making one of them as well. So that's next episode, but for this episode, it seems a bit remiss to make this lava source and not do anything with it. So we're going to make a couple of things. We're going to make a thermal generator, and we're going to make a MFE to store the power in. So what I'm just doing here, I'm just cooking some rubber up. Once that's done, we can start working on that. Right, so let's have a look at geothermal. Geothermal generator, pretty straightforward. It takes some refined iron, a generator, some glass, some empty cells. So let's look what a generator takes. Furnace, machine block, and an RE battery. Okay, this is some some of the not heavier, but some of the little bit heavier. Starting to make some of the little component parts of IC2 stuff here. We're gonna end up using all our iron, so I'm about to make some more with a medium stone. Um, first of all, what we need is um, three, four, five, six. We need sixteen, and we have quite a few refined iron. I'm going to call that into refined iron. Refined iron is just iron cooked again, mixed into refined iron. So let's get that on, get that cooking there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need some more. So let's three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll get our medium stone out. And just quickly for the sake of ooh, something's changed. Excellent. Okay, that ain't working. Okay. The medium stone change. What can a medium stone do? I can make flint. Awkward, awkward, that ain't changed. Obsidian. Why ain't that working? Don't know why that ain't working. That should be working. Will it work in there? I'm 
Obsidian. Let's uh, question mark that into there. That's awkward. That's awkward. That's a medium stone, so is that. So I don't know what's going on there, but that's not working for me. But that's okay. I'll do it the old fashioned way. Put all that back in there for now. Might not have enough iron then to do this just now, but we can make a start and stuff. I'll have a look off camera what that's about. So the first thing we need is let's look at our geothermal again. The geothermal takes a bucket, each bucket of lava it takes, it generates 20,000 EU at 20 EU a tick. We can also upgrade this, a thing called a thermal generator, which takes the geothermal in its recipe there, a couple more circuits, some invar plates and hardened glass. Okay, so this is going to take... I haven't got sorry. Oh, cool. You can use different types of glass. So this is changing this version as well. We need invar plates, not not invar, and that needs a new machine called a plate bending machine that we haven't got yet. So for now, we'll just be making a geothermal generator. So first thing we need is what's called a machine block. This is your base for most of your IC2 machines. That machine block, and then we're going to need some circuits. Now we're going to need at least seven of these. Circuits you make with copper. Let's get rid of them two bits of copper. Copper and rubber. Actually, need more than that, don't I? So I'm making two lots. Copper and rubber gets us some set copper cable. And then, copper cable, if we put six like that, one refined iron in the middle, and two bits of redstone, I was sad. We get an electronic circuit, like so. Let's just check. The alternate recipes for that electronic circuit so yeah that's the only way you can make it like that you can also that's no, ignore that that's something you don't need to see just yet i'll just confuse uh, okay there's different new different ways of making this but the basic way is just like i've just shown you that gets you a circuit what are we making here we're making geothermal we're making a generator for that. Um, we didn't need a circuit at all. What the hell am I doing? We didn't need a circuit. I'll take that back. But we will need it someday. Uh, um, what we do need is we need eight cobble. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight cobble. There's some. Make that into a furnace. And now we need our machine block. And we're going to need what's called an RE battery, which uses one of these cables. A couple of redstone and some tin. So basically, you're making what looks like a battery there. It's got the power in the middle, it's surrounded by tin, and it's got a connection at the top. It's an RE battery. Combine that with our furnace and our machine block. This is what's called a generator. And that's the base for the machine there, the generator. And we found out on either side, we need some tin cells. Let's make some tin cells. Tin cells is just four tin. Here's your four tin cells. We found iron either side. Generate in the middle, and all we need now is a bit of glass. Up the sides there. That gives us a geothermal generator. So, what we can do with that is. I don't think it'll go right next to that, but let's have a look. No, it doesn't, and I've not got a wrench anymore. <sighs> back in a sec. Okay I'm back, made myself a new Omni wrench and some of the minium stone work recipes are working. I managed to make two diamonds using gold and um, some of them are not working. I couldn't make cyan dye, uh, cyan wool out of normal wool. You could do that with minium stone before. What I had to do was make some cyan dye, go dye a sheep and then shear the sheep so that was a bit awkward. Um, so I'm not sure if it's just recipes aren't working or they've been taken out. They're still shown in NEI but they're not working as such. So, Omni wrench, shift, right click. That'll get that off there for you. And now I'm going to put that there. We need our liquid ducts that we made the other day, if you remember. Should have a couple of them left. I think we made four. We did. We've got two left. And we may need a lever for this. Probably will. 
let's uh, connect that to there and there so that, that's not coming out on its own so it looks like it needs a lever should have some in it in here we do with 32 of them at some point so put a lever next to that turn that to the the arrow out there and now that's filling that up we've got geothermal generator that's going to be generating as EUs but it's got nowhere to go just yet so the other thing we need to make is somewhere for it to go so we need another one of these machine blocks like so and we need some gold wire this time is it just one of them let's have a look I think it's just one of them we need with four rubber around it yep and now we need another four rubber there because we need to make these into double insulated gold cable so we've got four of them and the other thing we need is a thing called an energy cell now there's a couple of different recipes for energy cells one of them well they all take redstone so we need four of these yep thanks to redstone and you can use diamonds but because we've got these rubies in we can use the rubies so four of these surround them with redstone gets us four of these energy crystals now what we do is simply put all this together we've got four energy crystals four gold two times insulated gold cable gets us a thing called an MFE all that I'll do now is we just plop that next to there and the power from this it's starting to go into there, 20 EU a tick. So when we get back, when we start needing to use EU power, we're going to have uh, 600,000 EU to, to use. So we've got a use for our lava. You should see that start going down, which should kick the bit in the never back in. So you see there, because the level's gone down from the sensor, the sensor stopped putting out a signal. So the timer's started. See the, the timer's going around there? So that's on its three minute timer. When that gets to the top and it's that, that'll trigger this and it'll start pumping again. So that's how that bit works from last time. Okay, so I think that's it for this episode. We've got something to use our lava with repaired our gear. I've showed you how to start make a start on getting a blaze spawner and how to make some vanilla potions that really help. Um, of course we only made the fire one but the regen one's also very useful you can also make health potions and stuff so yeah i hope it was entertaining and educational and as always i hope you join me next time thank you very much for any new subscriptions or any likes or any comments or messages or anything like that all very welcome and i'll see you next time cheers bye